Good evening, everyone. What's up? Just ate a satisfying meal and topped it off with a measly dessert. This is Mr. Hot speaking. Previously, there was a rant on Barney. Today is going to be a special request from MTD Videos, and he or she has requested a rant on this newer Cartoon Network show from 2014 named Clarence. Well, sorry if a bunch of people get butt hurt or offend some people, but this was a request and a request is a request, so let's get to it. Clarence. Clarence, one of the newer Cartoon Network cartoons. So, main, it's primarily about this chubby kid named Clarence and his two friends, this square head kid named Jeff, who's supposed to be the smart one, and this other dumb kid called Sumo. So this is basically just a threesome that just hang out and do whatever they want to do. They're like no collars, pretty much. Uh, sumo. What kind of name is Sumo? Alright, it's understandable if Sumo was Japanese, but Sumo is not Japanese at all in this TV show. He's probably white for all one knows. Who named him Sumo? Did his parents name him Sumo? Sumo... That's supposed to be a Japanese name, not a name of a white kid. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a problem if, they, if he was Japanese. That would have actually been really cool if there's a Japanese character, but Sumo is just not an appropriate name for a white person. And he, and he has nothing to do with Sumo either, so why was he even given a name? Nothing was explainable at all for that. Let's see. Other characters... Oh, Clarence's mother, ugh, don't even get started. She looks like a hippopotamus. She is so hideous and obese. She really does look, look like a hippopotamus. Just take a good look at her. Ugh, her boyfriend, or Clarence's stepfather, Chad. Ugh, he looks like a gorilla. He, he just looks like a chunky gorilla, pretty much. If one looks at his face, he actually does look like a gorilla. And he is pretty much as dumb as Timmy's father. So pretty much Timmy's... Sorry, Clarence's parents are as dumb as Timmy's parents, then. Ugh. Not cool at all. Clarence's mother is pretty much like Timmy's mother. And Chad is really like Timmy's dad. Looking at the other characters. Joshua... He's Squidward of the TV show. He, he has to be Squidward. He's always abused for something. Like in, the, in that one grocery store episode, which was monotonous, he was getting beat up by Sumo for no reason at all, which Sumo should have been arrested for harassing him because he was harassing an, someone that was like at least five years older than him. Josh is someone that one can feel bad for, just like Squidward. Another example of him being harassed was that one epi rest ep episode about the restaurant when a fork hit his eye. And then especially, the biggest torture episode was the one about nature, Clarence. Ugh. They wouldn't stop. None of the characters would stop shutting up and bothering him, almost getting him killed. And they got off scot-free. That's just sickening right there. So, there are a lot of other characters, but many of them aren't even worth talking about or even watching. There's Miss Baker, who's the elementary school teacher. She would actually, she would look attractive in real life, most likely, because she's very skinny and slim. She's not a good teacher at all, though. She, she isn't teaching a class anything in, in any of the episodes. She isn't teaching them fourth grade. She isn't teaching them material that they're supposed to be learning. All the kids are doing is just screwing around in class, pretty much. Well, not as bad as the science kid. But they're not learning material that they're supposed to be learning. 
They're supposed to be learning, not just doing whatever they darn well please. So Miss Baker isn't a good teacher, but she would look pretty attractive in real life, and she has a lot of tolerance, which is a surprise. And there are a lot of students in Clarence's class. There's so many of them that it's it's hard to list them all, but there are a few examples. The easiest example to talk about is Percy. Percy is this really short kid who has a really whiny baby voice. He's bland. He would be he is kind of an interesting character, but there's not enough explained about him. Why is he like this? Is he autistic? Does he have a disability? Why on earth is he so dumb, naive, infantile? They don't explain at all why he has such a whiny voice and why he's, and why he's really short. And why he's so dim-witted. Nothing's ever explained about him. He would be he is kind of an interesting character because he's, he looks different than all the other characters, but nothing's explained about him. Other character. Belson is basically this grumpy guy. He's like a Squidward also. There's this one kid that was allergic to peanuts. What else? There are all these girls in Clarence's class. That one episode of Slumber Party was mundane. It wasn't even worth watching at all. Yeah, none of the girls in, in Clarence's class or the show itself are interesting at all. They're just girls that are just drawn vaguely. That's pretty much all they are. None of them are interesting. They're just girls. That's it. So there's this one character that has a long nose and covers his mouth. Don't know the name of that character. But but there are like there are a lot of kids in Clarence's class though, but they don't make that many apparent appearances, most of them, except Percy and a few others. Well a threesome group of Clarence, Jeff, and Sumo, of course. Time to talk about some of the um episodes. Ugh. Some were okay. Some were just flat out boring. Clarence Dollars. That episode didn't make any sense at all. Why would people be obsessed over fake play money? Why would they even want counterfeit money in the first place? They, they are 100% worthless. Yet everyone wanted them badly in this TV show. This shows how dumb ki most characters are in TV shows in general. Ugh, that episode. Don't see that episode. Don't see it. The episode about the dungeon fate, the fun dungeon face-off, that was meh. <sighs> At least that was kind of a cool idea. But the problem with that episode is that Clarence stole a little girl's shoes. And he wasn't even taken accountable for that. Another episode... Major Kate, ah, uh, Percy, Sumo, and Clarence just, they, they're just like acting like Spongebob in that episode, and they wouldn't quit causing trouble, like Sumo kept kicking the back of the car, which was just annoying, gosh, he never shuts up, huh, who else is, what other episodes, Lizard Day Afternoon, that was okay, it was a surprise that Lizard could leave so much fortune, though. There was this one episode about the threesome group just destroying the house by setting up booby traps. That was horrible. Clarence was supposed. Clarence just escaped with this cool guy and didn't even get in trouble. And his mother, ugh. Like, why would they waste time doing that? They didn't left the house in a wreck. Why? Other episodes. Yeah, there's one episode at the zoo about Clarence and Belson. Oh yeah, there's this one episode that ripped off Charlie Brown, which is okay, but the end was so was so disgusting that it literally went, made one want to throw up. There was this kid that was obsessed with that girl in the red hair who couldn't even talk at all but scream. And the episode was okay. It showed how adventuresome. Coming home from school really could be, but ugh, 
That red-headed girl was hideous. Repulsive. And made one want to throw up. Especially when she screamed. Ugh. Ew. Any other episodes to talk about? Um... We already talked about a lot of them. There was one when Clarence just breaks Jeff's toy. What else was there? That's pretty much all there is to say about the show Clarence. Overall, most of the characters were just boring and one-dimensional. All the characters were pretty much the students at the school. Pretty much just like every other student. Nothing interesting about them at all. None of their origins were told about. Nothing. And they're not even doing what they're supposed to be doing in school. They're supposed to be learning, not just doing whatever they darn well please. And why doesn't anyone teach that sumo kid to behave? Oh, yeah, he's not even he's not even a sumo wrestler, so why is he even called sumo? It would have been cool if he was an Asian character, but they didn't even take that opportunity at all to create one. The character designs, ugh, Clarence looks ugly. Ugh. Clarence's parents look ugly. The only, like, good-looking character in the whole show would have to be Miss Baker and Josh. And Nature Kate were the only fine-looking characters at all. Because those two would be attractive in real life. Those two ladies, for all one knows. Sorry, but that's just in comparison. This is a popular TV show, but it was requested for a rant. Sorry if this video wasn't really a rant, but it was a request, so it had to be done. And sorry it just took over 10 minutes. There just there was a lot to say about the show. Oh, yeah. There was one really bad episode about Jeff, who couldn't cook at all. Yet, he poisoned people and got scot free with the metal, and then a woman got arrested. That's just not cool at all. That just really isn't. That's all there is to say for this rant on Clarence. If it gets many dislikes, fine. But it was a request, and a request is a request. And, since there are like almost no rants on Clarence at all, yet there are a bunch of rants on Uncle Grandpa. This rant had to be made. Very sorry. So with that, that's all there is to say for this rant. See one on the next video. The Thomas the Tank Engine rant should be coming out in April. Sorry if it's going to be delayed by a month. There's just so much to say about Thomas the Tank Engine. So that must be organized. And there are going to be a more. There are going to be a few part two rants. So there are a few rants coming up, pre, like in a few weeks. This channel may be on hiatus if the computer is not working. Just an FYI. That's all there is to say for this rant on Clarence. See one on the next rant. Good.